I'm Sarah. We're gonna make some hummus. I've got this amazing cooking blender. So here's the cooking blender. I'll turn it on. It makes a cute little noise when you take the lid off. And I've been using this, this a lot. Um, I make soups in it, jam, um, sauces, and grind coffee beans, uh, make uh, nut butters. I've made alt milk in it. I mean, it really does a lot. Plus it cleans itself, which is really nice. You just uh, add, add three cups of water and a couple of squirts of li liquid detergent, you know, dishwashing liquid and you turn it on and it heats up and it cleans itself and so there's not much else to do other than rinse it out when it's done so that's kind of so oh and the deluxe green blender comes with this fantastic cookbook which i is like my bible basically for using it it's really wonderful the recipe originally called for a can of chickpeas and a can of great northern beans i prefer all chickpeas so that's what i've done i've str i've drained it i've got a little um uh, straining uh, measuring cup which I love and it ends up being about uh, almost a little over two cups of chickpeas and that's the can it requires about a quarter of a cup so that's what I'm gonna put in we're also gonna add some lemon juice and when I um, use lemons when I juice lemons, I like to kind of either roll them in my hand to kind of loosen things up and get the get the juice ready to flow I like how it catches all the seeds on the top and then the juice flows through there's little holes in it i don't know if you can see that fully but it got a lot of the tablespoons of olive oil that i did measure out and then i'm going to measure this in to make sure i've got enough and i think we need to do one more you just can see see you can read it through there that's the easy read this is the petite measuring cup but easy read measuring cup. about two tablespoons of juice this is like a little bit more, but you know, I don't mind a little, a little extra lemon there. All right. So we've got the lemon juice in there. So, and two, two tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of olive oil. And I always like to use a good quality olive oil, extra virgin. And I have a fun tool to help get the peel off the garlic because I don't need to press it. Um, I just need to get the peel off. And this is the garlic peel. Put the garlic in the tube and you just roll it just like that and you can kind of hear when uh the papery outside has kind of come off and you can see it's stuck it's in there and then the rest of it comes off pretty easily so most um hummus recipes call for using um tahini which is a, a sauce made with sesame seeds and this kind of bypasses that and there's the second one um that kind of this kind of bypasses that whole idea and we're just going to use regular sesame seeds and it will um mix it up to such a point oh we need um a tablespoon um use this wonderful adjustable measuring spoon for that in this recipe it calls for the sesame seeds because the blades can really just mush things up so finely that um you don't really need the sauce so we it, it is a teaspoon of salt but I am going to make a little twist on it. I'm gonna add some roasted red peppers. I have a big one that came out of the jar, so I'm just gonna put that in. It's a tamper. Um, okay, and so we'll only use that if it kind of gets a little stuck. So we're gonna go to the grind setting, which is the third setting. It goes for two minutes and 20 seconds. It's tasty, but I think I'm gonna add more of the red pepper because I think I want more red pickets in there. Um, I like to use hummus on my um, avocado toast in the morning. That is something I like. The scoop and spread, perfect tool for this. All right. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm. Oh, wow. That's really good. And it's the perfect amount. This was a little bit of an experiment for me because I didn't know 
how much red pepper to put in. Certainly wasn't enough after one of the peppers that came out of the, the jar. Two peppers per, that's your uh, roasted red pepper hummus.